classroom, but some believe the cafeteria plays just as important of a role. As parents and as educators, we can, you know, again, enforce the importance of nutrition. Um, you know, it's about fueling our body and that we're giving the kids, we're bringing them forward to good, healthy options. They don't have to work hard at making those decisions in the school atmosphere. We're bringing them good choices. Whether your student is eating free breakfast or lunch or bringing their own to school, Dietitian and owner of Pyramid Nutrition Services, Nicole Masler, says eating healthy meals throughout the day is critical for students. Teens and adolescents, uh, they become, I'm finding, more resistant. And, you know, we've got to put into our bodies what we want to, to, to perform. Masler says what you eat impacts how you act and perform throughout the day, especially if kids are participating in sports. Having breakfast every morning is also imperative before beginning the school day. As parents, we need to make sure our children start the day with a nutritious meal. We always talk about breakfast being the best meal of the day. Um, it is. We break the fast. So we've slept. Our body needs nutrition. Our body needs energy. And we get that energy from the food we eat. Director of Food Services at Chicopee Public Schools, Melanie Wilkes, says the district offers various free meal options for their students. This after a permanent universal free school lunch program was approved in the Bay State this month. Month. We have a really big farm to school program, so we source a lot from local vendors and farmers. We're really trying to extra support the farmers right now with all the flooding. So we're hoping to do after school meals at our middle schools and high schools with the food truck to just kind of offer a little bit of a different take on our supper program. She tells us the district recently received a grant to collaborate with the Food Bank of Western Mass. It will develop farm to school curriculums, teaching the concept in the classroom setting. It's so important to get them to learn about farm to school early and learn where their food comes from and see, you know, from, we say, from farm to tray. So we see, you know, from the school gardens um, or from farm trips and things like that, where it starts from and then how it ends up on the tray. Um, and just supporting the local economy, that's always such a huge part of us, um, our mission. Mazur gives high appraisal of that program, saying more school districts should follow suit. I give a thumbs up because I think we are moving out of that traditional like cafeteria food. So we want children to realize the efforts that we're putting in to bring them not only nutritious food, but good, delicious food. And if you're looking for some help with what to pack your student for lunch, Mazur encourages using the online tool myplate.gov for advice on how to create a well-balanced meal. On that plate, you see half your plate is fruit and or vegetables. A quarter of your plate is a protein, so that comes from you know, any of your meat, fish, uh, bean, nut options, and then the other quarter of the plate is your grain. And so if we can encourage our kids to accept um, more multi-grains, so higher fiber foods, um, brown rices, wheat pastas, quinoa, multi-grain breads. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Kristen Brunell. Now, if you would like to learn more about the services being offered at Massler's Nutrition Business in Springfield and Westfield, you can find that information on our website, westernmassnews.com.